No, Ahsoka. I am your father. What the f***? No! Search your feelings. You know it to be true. Well, it doesn't work on multiple levels. Number one, I'm kind of like an X-Men mutant. Number two, we made love last night. Well, that would fit perfectly within the Star Wars universe, considering Leia kissed Luke in episode five. So incest runs in the family. I hope my mask is getting fogged up. Ladies and gentlemen, today's in-depth review is of the Star Wars Rebels Season 1 and Season 2 two-pack of Darth Vader and Ahsoka Tano. Let's do this. So let's start off with the packaging. We have Kylo Ren, Star Wars logo. Even though this is from Rebels, we still have the same old packaging styling. You see your two-pack. This is roughly 15 bucks. Got it at Toys R Us, Victoria's Cantina, got it at Kmart. Picture of Darth Vader looking very menacing. A picture of Ahsoka. This is a very good looking artwork and it continues a little bit over here on the left hand side. You can see Darth's, looks like his fist. I don't know actually what's continuing here. It looks like maybe his cape there, but it also looks like a cape there, probably hers. Here's the back, you can see the artwork a little bit better. We have a repack of Han Solo and Princess Leia, Flame Trooper Deluxe, and the Y-Wing Scout Bomber. Oh, of course, there's the Rebels logo right there. Why don't they just put it there? It's so dumb. Anyway, let's read the back here. Darth Vader, intent on eliminating the scattered survivors of the Jedi Order, Darth Vader ruthlessly hunts them down across the galaxy in four different languages, multilingual packaging. Ahsoka Tano, Anakin Skywalker's apprentice Ahsoka Tano left the Jedi Order before it was destroyed during the Great Jedi Purge, but the truth of her fate remains unknown. Cool. There's more stuff, Disney Hasbro website, blah blah blah, each sold separately. So let's open it up and take a look at her. Alright, so you open it up and this is what it looks like. Uh, I have no idea what the hell that is, and I really don't know. That looks like a power disc from Tron Legacy or something. I I haven't watched Rebels, so uh, let me know. I obviously know these are lightsabers. Maybe it's a, to build some kind of vehicle like in the other Deluxe or the, the basic series for Force Awakens. You can build like a little machine or, or turret or something. You just collect a bunch of pieces, a bunch of the basic figures, and build something together. So that might be what this is. I don't know what it is. All right, let's get to Darth first, because he's my probably second favorite villain of all time. I would say Tom Hardy in Dark Knight Rises as Bane is my favorite villain. So here's Darth Vader. You can see his very cartoonized look from the show Rebels. He doesn't look like your film Vader, very exaggerated caricature-like mask. Here's his center console with the gray, black box, and red buttons. His little uh, silver and gray neck piece. And also down here at the belt. Pretty good detailing. Of course, these are only five points of articulation. So his head, boom, arm. Can you take off his cape? Let's just try that out. You can. Look. Oh, was I supposed to do that? I think so. <laughs> because he's, uh, his head's on a ball joint. I about to say, I just killed Darth Vader. What's Darth Vader without his cape? It looks kind of weird. It looks anorexic or something. You don't know the power of the dark side. Okay, inner leg. Pretty interesting. Darth Vader it looks like a girl's leg. It doesn't look like an Anakin Skywalker leg. I don't know. So his cape continues down here. It's kind of just like glued in there. Yep, that's glued. Uh, that kind of stinks. But uh, back cutouts looking like reaction figures or figures from the 80s little square butt and then the, the figures just go like that yay Darth Vader can do the splits woo look at how skinny this body is like look at the arm definition this is like a chick this isn't a dude this isn't Darth Vader good god anyway ribbing of all the suit shoulder pads for Darth here black gloves look pretty decent back ribbing of the shirt this is like little latch right here I don't know what the hell that's for. Is this for his lightsaber? I don't know. I think again, his lightsaber's extended, so... Yeah, don't know what that's for. I find it hilarious he's got some armpit action going on here. It's like this, uh, little pit. You really can't tell. You can tell right there. There it is. 
That's lovely. And it's on this side, too. So that's funny. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so there's Darth. Let's put his cape. His cape is like a rubber. It's ribbed. Not as cool as like a thin fabric. He can kind of just like fly around. It's like a old school Batman cape. Very thick rubber. And of course here at the top, you have your circle. It looks kind of thin. It looks like it could break easily. So, but that'd be a lot easier to put it on, but it'd also be hard to just keep on. That's why they have this, uh, <laughs> it literally made that sound. Removable head joint. Actually, that's pretty funny too. You can probably just do this. Bam! <laughs> there goes Darth. I have to go get him. Let's look at his lightsaber. Basic series lightsaber. Decent detailing there. It's got um, looks pretty much just like uh, the films. Black silver handle. It's pretty decent detailing for basic series figures. Just sucks that it's kind of like leaning to the left a little bit, or wherever you want to rotate it. Definitely leaning. That sucks. Get you pay for. Basic series figures. So there's Darth. Let's talk about Ahsoka. She's very interesting. This is a character from Clone Wars and now Rebels. She looks different in Rebels than she does in Clone Wars. This is definitely her Rebels outfit. The way her color scheme is for her little head crown thing. I don't know why I don't watch the show. And just her lightsabers are green in Clone Wars. And here they're like a white, light blue. So uh, I really love this lightsaber because it looks like Count Dooku's. I love Count Dooku. Look at the lightsaber detailing. It's less detailed than Anakin's. It's just silver and you got a couple of ridges here at the top. A uh, ridge here on the left, right, and then uh, a little bit right there on the Dooku-esque one. On the regular one, just is plain old detailing as well. Just a uh, ridge, two bolts, bolt, and then a ring at the top and a ring at the bottom. It's very bland. So let's look at her head. Her body skin color is like an off mango. She's got blue eyes. She's got like a red maroon lipstick, white face paint going on with a white and blue headpiece. Looks actually pretty cool. She's actually a really cool character from what I've seen. Long sleeve gray. It looks like some armor with a lighter silver, like a maroon burgundy top half silver. It goes down to the gloves, which is opened. How hipster of her. Same color for the chest piece, gray, with like a maroon, a little dot covering the belly button. I don't know if you need belly button armor. She looks like someone from the Avatar, I'm not going to lie, with this like skirt Pocahontas thing she's got going on. It's got good detailing though on the back pieces with these little beige tribal-esque looking pieces. Brown belt, it, it does look really nicely detailed for a three and three quarters inch figure. And then the like skirt, it ends right there with like the same old darker gray. It's like a bunch of grays all in one. So it actually looks pretty nice. So little leggings or even darker brown slash gray. And then she has like a desaturated olive and then a beige protection for the knees and shins. It looks like her feet articulate, but it's just the boots. So articulation wise, cause she has like a skirt on, looks like she's just gonna do a front kick, nothing on the back, so. Arms in a 360. Because of her headpiece, she really doesn't move. She just moves left to right. I'm not going to test if her head pops up. Oh, yeah, why not? Okay, cool. Look at that. So I could have Ahsoka, I have taught you well. No, where are my lightsabers? No. Oh. oh. So it looks a little crazy with her head off. I actually find that pretty awesome. This is like the first time I'm reviewing a three and three quarters inch figure, totally in depth. And, uh, it's pretty hilarious that her head can come off. But she looks like her counterpart from the TV show. So, I mean, they did a good job with that. I mean, these are basic figures. You get what you pay for. They're not collectors, black series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, the only crappy part is I know she does, like, a lot of crazy. Like, even the box. Look at the box. Do you think we can replicate that? No, because the elbows don't articulate. Like, she does a lot of, like, really cool stances. Like, she'll, like, down like that and then, like, have, like, one sword above her. And then like one down below, like very cool, like crouching tiger hidden dragon type deal. You really can't have it with non-articulation in the joints of the legs and the arms. So that kind of stinks. I'm just going to skip talking about these because I don't know what the hell this shit is. Yeah, this seriously does look something from like Tron Legacy. So I figured out what this crap is. Uh, <laughs> so it's right there firing discs. So I was like, oh, okay. So I figured out that... That is definitely some kind of light disc from Tron. And this is a, a firing disc. You put the little firing disc within the disc launcher. 
push this guy forward yeah fires it off you put it there that's a little spot you see a little lever moves there yeah Darth Vader totally needs a firing disc you know the force uh, sometimes doesn't work well so uh, I need a firing disc We'll give this out of 10. I mean, it looks very lifelike. The figures kind of suck because the knees and elbows don't articulate, but it is a very accurate sculpt. The paint looks pretty accurate to the show. Darth is a little exaggerated, and I think if you're a fan, we're gonna have a problem with the, uh... yep. <laughs> the freaking lightsabers keep falling out. It's not cool. Hasbro is so damn cheap. I just bent, there we go. Maybe you could just bend the lightsaber kind of straight. That'd be okay. But these lightsabers, I guess, don't want to stay in the hands. God, look at that. Look at the hand, though. You see that? It kind of just, like, the thumb caved in. There you go, you bastard. So, the figures do look like their counterparts in the show. Paint-wise, they do, as well as the sculpt. It just sucks that there's not that much articulation. They couldn't have given us elbows and knees. It would have been really sweet. What am I going to give this set out of 10? Well, I'm not too big of a Rebels fan. I really haven't seen any TV shows from Star Wars, just the films. I'm going to say a solid 7. I'd say pick these guys up if you're a fan of the show. I mean, they fit well with the rest of the uh, basic series. I mean, this is a guy from 2001 or 2000. And this is from 2002. They look pretty good. So I would say pick them up if you're a fan of Rebels and you can find them. I barely found them. I'm actually going to take these back to the store for someone that wants to buy them. Uh, I'm not a big a fan of Rebels. If I want a Darth Vader, I'll get the Black Series 3 and 3 quarters inch. I won't get the uh, this Basic Series. I'm not a fan of this Basic Series stuff. But if you're a fan of Rebels, pick these guys up. I think they look really good. She looks great. He looks great. Uh, yay! Yeah. Thanks, guys, for watching. Have a great day. Bow! Oh. Dun, dun, dun. I shall kill you now. Dun, dun, dun. Not again. Bow! What do you mean not again? You didn't die yet. This, <sighs> boys. What do you think, Megan? Okay, her battery ran out. It was pretty much a solid half hour of playtime, like they said. 